I have my seventh grade biotechnology students here today at Biogen and they're actually doing a lab to study cell growth and how temperature and pH affects the cell growth. I love this because it's a fantastic opportunity for them to access resources that they don't have at the school and to give them a bird's eye view of what goes on in a normal career, maybe interest them in a science career. Um, I really like the diversity here, so they have visitors to come in and it shows them that everyone doesn't look the same. And I think that's really important for my students because I have students from all different backgrounds. So it's really good for them to see that they don't have to look a certain way in order to work in the science field. The kids are loving it because they love having this experience and they love wearing their lab coats and putting on their glasses. So I definitely would recommend for all of our teachers to partake in this activity and to bring the students out and for them to get to do something that they normally wouldn't be able to do in the classroom. Um, we're really giving them a hands-on experience uh, with science. So trying to get them excited about what science is, about biotechnology. So we're introducing them to um, a concept that they're learning in their classroom, so cells, but we're doing it in conjunction with what we do here at Biogen IDEC, so growing cells and bioreactors to produce medicines. Um, we're focusing our efforts on middle schoolers at, uh, in Durham Public Schools, and um, they are focused on the STEM-based program. So teachers have come here to do professional development, and then they can bring their classes in um, to learn about the, we have one for 7th graders, which is around cells, with the, what the Giffins did today. And we have one around 8th grade, which is pure substances and quality control testing for drug substances. 